Let's look at the simple Bohr model of the atom. We have a heavy, pretended stationary proton in the center and an electron orbiting it. What's the physics here? Well, the force of attraction is kq on q2 over r squared, Coulomb's law. And anything going in a circle has a equals v squared over r and f equals ma. If we put them together, we get ke squared over r squared equals mv squared over r, where e is the charge on either one and m is the mass of the electron. The radius is what we call the Bohr radius, the size essentially of a hydrogen atom. Now, we can also find the energy. The potential energy is kq on q2 over r, so that's minus ke squared over r. The kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, so 1 half mass of electron times this velocity squared, which simplifies to 1 half ke squared over r. They're very similar. When you add them up, you get minus 1 half ke squared over r. The total energy is the negative of the kinetic. Now, plugging in the constants for K, E, Bohr radius of the atom, mass of an electron, we get a velocity of 7.04 times 10 to the fifth meters per second, which is about 0.002 of the speed of light. And for the total energy, we get 4.52 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, which is also 2.82 electron volts. So this is the Bohr model of the atom. It's a very simplified picture of the atom that Bohr made in about 1912 as they were stumbling towards quantum mechanics. So it has historical importance.